We are live, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and of course, welcome to the Life as a Chad podcast YouTube channel. I thank all of you for being here, wherever you may be, and of course, however you may be listening. So this past week, I ran across, uh, some of you guys may be far more familiar with this than I am. I ran across some drama that existed on the internet. Let's just call it the internet. I mean, most of what I consumed was on YouTube, but it was all across the internet. And this, of course, involves Destiny, the left-wing golden child, I guess you can... uh, a lot of people on the left see him in a very high regard. This guy named Max, uh, who does it's like the like white cast or or white the the some shit like that. I, I can't remember what he does, but he has some show that he fucking does. And Lav, who is a which streamer, I believe. Um, she originally did comedic stuff and then transitioned to more political, uh, feminist leaning takes, cultural takes. There's a girl whose name is Anna. (laughs) And then there's a chick named Sheila, who I believe is Max's girlfriend. Now, I'm just going to tell you guys right off the bat that that I may not get every single piece of information exactly spot on, on the nose, correct. I, the only reason that I came across this shit was watching Andrew Big Papa Fascist interview this guy, uh, Max, in initially, and, and I had never seen Max before, and initially... When I was listening to their interview, I thought that that Max came from like the red pill community, that he was that they were talking about that he came from the red the the red pill manosphere community and they were delving into interpersonal intersexual dynamics because Andrew, of course, in the past has debated that with many red pill guys, including John Anthony Lifestyle. Uh, I think uh, Alex is is his name. And that's originally what I thought. And as I said, I have not been exposed to any of these people before or, uh, excuse me, uh, Max until this. Now, of course, I did know who Destiny was, but I never watched that guy's content unless he's debating somebody in the right wing. Uh, And I think it it will be an interesting discussion or debate to listen to. So that's the only reason why. And so I say that not to brag about not knowing them. I say that to say that there's perhaps going to be certain nuanced things, little fringy ideas that perhaps I don't get exactly correct because I just don't watch their content hardly at all. Okay. Um, so Max and I'm, I'm watching this shit and and I get through all of the destiny bullshit with, with lab and, and I cannot believe I consumed as much as I did, but, but I was, I was committed at a certain point and decided, you know what? I need to stay entrenched in this as to make some content on this. And then I finally realized, I'm like, holy shit, this is excellent. This is excellent modern day relationship, beta orbiter, um, female nature, like you name it, all types of, of things. Perfect prime time examples of all of these things. And so... I continue to watch it so that we could dive into it right now and I could share my thoughts on this totally 
fucking ridiculous saga that is the Destiny versus Lav versus Max versus Anna, all of that shit. Max's show is called The Hotline. I, I just looked it up. So by the way, if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. This channel continues to grow, and I thank all of you guys who have jumped on this bandwagon with me. We're, co we're coming for it all. We're fucking coming for it all. So I'm just going to, uh, at the very least, like, comment, share. Let me know what you guys think about this whole situation um, in the comment section. So w right off the bat, to me, my first thought is that this is totally ridiculous. Uh, if this was even 60 years ago, this type of bullshit discussion uh, human beings spending hours on end talking about the type of stuff that they discussed on all of these podcasts and people listening to it. And yes, I'm, I'm victim to it as well would not happen. Okay. Now, actually I need to go back. The crux of Max writing his article. Okay. And, and that's really what it is. Max came out with an article quote unquote, exposing Destiny's poor behavior uh, with orbiters and fans and things like that, both men and with women. It was an expose on Destiny, basically. I don't think Max would necessarily agree with that. I think he would say that he is shining a light on YouTube creator or creators in general, uh, their bad behavior and shit like that. But for, lack, for, for all intents and purposes, this was a Destiny expose. And now the main thing that I'm going to be focusing on is the stuff with the women, okay? And the two primary women in the article are Lav, who I explained earlier, and... Anna, a girl named Anna. And from what I was able to read, Anna is a girl that Destiny met while traveling. Uh, she was a fan of some sort. I, I can't make out whether she actually did that. She actually would consider herself a content creator or not. Um, I, I really don't know. But long story short, she basically became obsessed with Destiny. <laughs> And kind of stalker vibes. And when Destiny did not provide the type of attention that she wanted, uh, she freaked out. And of course, in return, totally shared all types of behind the scenes details with Max. Now for Lav, Lav is a content creator. Uh, she did have, from what I was able to gather, a sexual relationship with Destiny. Um, and it it basically started around this time frame of her getting into discussing politics and going on Destiny's show and being exposed to his thousands of fans just because. Um and yes, they did have a sexual relationship. She like sent him a couple of nudes. And the whole thing with that is whether it was, and Max is basically saying the whole thing there, or what Max would say is the problem there is that Destiny used his power dynamic over these women, especially Lav, in saying and threatening that he would leak her nudes to the public. Now, of course, you, you dig a little bit further and you basically find that the only reason why Destiny did that was because uh, she was sharing his private information behind the scenes, private details, logs, conversations, sexting, and things like that. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to stop there in, in, I don't want to get too much further in describing the situation because it, it'll take all fucking day. But the main thing here that Max in, in the term that he used was power dynamics, suggesting that destiny has power over these women. And 
the, my initial thoughts with this is it's like, okay, Max, dude, bruh, my guy, this is how women operate, bro. Like women are hypergamous, hypergamy. They go after guys who have higher status than them, who have a, a higher position in society, who make more money than them. They find that attractive. And in modern day culture, that tends to be older men as well. And just because a guy is, so so I want to stop there. That should not be surprising. That should not be surprising one bit. As I said, women are hypergamous. They do that. It's not a shock that some of these women uh, found Destiny somewhat attractive, which I'll return to, and saw an opportunity there. What do people in red pill space always say? Women love opportunistically. Men love idealistically. Meaning women will are always looking for a better opportunity or an opportunity to improve their life, to, to monkey branch to another level and status in life. So it's not surprising. Now, for me, this is all fucking absolutely hilarious because Destiny is this 30 plus year old Coomer dork beta guy who is in an open relationship. And on one hand, it's it's like not surprising at all that he uses his position to do better with the ladies. That's been something that's been done throughout time. And as I said, women find them attractive. So it's it's basically an equal trade-off because women tend to find guys who are above them more attractive. But from Destiny's side, it's like, it's not surprising that this nerd who, if he did not have his status in society, would these women wouldn't even look his way. They wouldn't even give him a second glance, which is why in the end, this is totally turned around on destiny because these chicks are not bad looking. They're not like dime pieces or anything, but they are not bad looking. And in the end, and this is why it ends up totally not working in his favor is because he leads with his wallet. He leads with his status, his his money. And anybody who has any game with women will say, you cannot leave with your wallet. Because once you're seen through the scope of what you can provide a woman from that perspective, financially, status-wise, and things like that, they'll never be able to see you any differently. It's like guys it's like guys who go to a massage place or or these um these guys who uh have these women um femdoms, okay? That these guys believe that so somewhere down the line they're going to have a shot with these women. But what they fail to realize is it'll never happen for a variety of reasons, but predominantly because those women see them as customers and see that they can provide them with a financial aspect without having to do the sexual favors. And so once that it, once that connection is made, the, the chick will never be able to see you in any other light besides that. And it's, it's only slightly different in Destiny's circumstance because there's this initial bullshitting of actually or this this placating of actually being interested in destiny the person from these women when destiny and these women both realize that 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 that's not true 
And so it totally ends up backfiring on Destiny because these women are never actually interested in a guy like that because he's a beta. He is a dork. He is a nerd. Yes, he has status. Yes, he has authority. Yes, he has some power. But as far as his pure sexual marketplace value of, of just his looks, it's not very high. And furthermore, his personality is not so overwhelmingly good or overwhelmingly charismatic to where it, it, it almost morphs these girls' opinions of him and, and starts making them think he's so damn charismatic that they're like, oh my, they trick their mind into thinking that he's a super attractive man. So it ends up totally backfiring for him. But from the women's perspective, okay, my thoughts on it are like, dude, Max, if anything, so let's start here. Number one, in my eyes, a guy like Max, a white knight like Max, make no mistakes, that, that is what Max is. He is a full-blown white knight. This is a guy who totally wants people to see him as a, he has a very savior uh, knight complex, okay, that that uh, he wants people to see with him. So to me, just listening for a few seconds, and this is why I cannot stand beta orbiters like Max or like Destiny, because they hide behind this shield of women empowerment, you know, I'm protecting you. I'm for you. I'm for your your rights and your equality and my rights, my lady. But in reality, they actually see them on a lower rung than guys like myself do. Because a guy like Max holds women absolutely not accountable one bit. He sees them as having virtually zero agency. He sees them and he made light to this in his interview with Andrew, uh, Big Papa Fascist. He alluded to them in the same sentence as a child. So in a lot of regards, he sees women as children. How is that empowering towards women? How is that seeing women as your equals when you don't even hold them accountable for anything? When you don't, when you don't even allow them to have agency one bit? How is that any different? It's 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 the same thing, just a different side of the coin. So that's number one with Max. He's totally a white knight and totally a goober. Here, I'm going to um, share my screen here. So here we got some pictures of Destiny, the, <laughs> the total goober nerd. Um so, but but furthermore, I, I want to get to the women's side. I, I already talked about the side that this is not surprising at all, that that hypergamy, hypergamy is a very real thing. It, it at this, in fact, it this is so not shocking to me that that it, it almost dumbfounds me that Max was surprised by this at all. But from their perspective, for me, this is the perfect example of what a modern woman is. A hundred percent. Lav is the perfect, the quintessential. Modern woman. Takes zero accountability. Uh, uses sex as a way to get clout. Manipulates gossips and just in general the zero accountability and overall all of these people have a huge aura of arrested development just like some of the conversations that they had were so mind-numbingly high school <laughs> high school era that it was astonishing but from the from the women's side, it's like, yeah, this is what modern women do. This this is, you know, girls who are, you know, are very interested in their career. But the thing is, is that most of them cannot handle the same um, 
stressors that men can in the workforce. And so instead of just continuing to grind like a man would to, you know, to continue to climb the ladder and, and not be given a damn thing, but earn everything. They just say, fuck it. What, you know, fuck that. Why would I do that when I can just do only fans? Why fucking, uh, why fucking do that when I can just, uh, get in destiny's bed and then be put on his stream in front of millions of viewers. So this, this was not astonishing one bit. This is the quintessential example of what modern women are, where they they try and climb the ladder of success all the way up to she Lav is 30 plus years old. She and she's still wearing this fucking pussy hat. She's, you know, getting in quabbles on or quibbles on YouTube about some guy that that entered her how embarrassing is this it, it it really is it's it's terribly embarrassing and it's like all over a guy like destiny are you fucking kidding me over a guy like destiny but see, that's the thing. They they were never really interested in Destiny. They just wanted what he could provide, which is why this is turning into what it is turning into. And the, the last major point that I want to make here is you needn't go any further that we live in a uh, gynocentric feminine society than just spending a little bit of time watching these types of videos. This is all of it is, is centered around feminine behavior. No real man would with, with, with masculine impulses would ever engage in, in, in this discussion hours on end. I mean, this is so lame, so cringe. I, I I'm running out of dis descriptive words for it. So we're going to watch a little bit of it. I don't know if um, hopefully Destiny doesn't fucking copyright, but we're going to watch a little bit and then we'll be done. Do you not see the fucking difference there? Wait, this is Lav. Steven, you have this is Lav in the top left. Literally been in my DMs. I can literally pull them out right now where you're saying that he is manipulating me. And that if and you've said, like, why would you choose him over me? Like, you have absolutely, Lav, absolutely if you want to post, Lav, shit. Lav, if you want to post the full fucking shit, me talking about him, go for it. What I said multiple times was, yeah, I do think he's manipulating you. But I've also said explicitly, if you want to talk to him, go for it. Both, he's the one really saying both. to you. And the, the other main point is just, and this always happens. Oh, just going back to the previous point, you, you needn't go any further to see that we live in a gynocentric society than watching this. I mean, even still, where where Destiny is 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 Destiny a, a a douchebag? Is he you know not the greatest guy? Yeah, probably. That's not surprising in the least. The guy is a total nerd. Okay, a lot of these guys who don't get a lot of or didn't get a lot of attention early on in their lives end up being like manipulative um uh backstabbing just not good guys okay uh and women know that better than anybody um but the other thing is like you look at this is just classic modern woman lav enters in to this whole thing makes her sexual exploitations public shares it no normal person would do that. No normal person would share for the rest of the world to know unless you were trying to get some clout from it or or some attention from it. No normal person, in fact, no normal person would share that type of information. Matter of fact, women especially would not share that information because deep down inside, they know that when they share information about their sexual exploits, it brings them down in their sexual marketplace value it, it 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 people's perception of them is lowered when they discuss those things those types of things 
So women, especially when it's 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 just hookups, will will keep it in a vault. Normal women will. So she does that, and then totally turns this into some big drama over the course of like a year, and then plays the victim. Like this is the as I said, the quintessential modern woman. Literally, He's the one both saying, of you guys no, are no, saying no, 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 don't both equal of it. You don't equal it. No. Stop being fucking retarded. Don't equalize it. He's telling you to leave my stream forever because I'm manipulating and blowing I'm saying you can talk to whoever you want. He's redirecting you to Lab. Could you imagine if I said, Lab, I understand you're upset about me. Go talk to Melina. Do you know how fucking weird that is? How any person could see that that's like the most manipulative, cultish fucking thing in the world? And you're trying to equate both of us because like, I think he's fucking manipulative? And she literally came into a group of people that are just talking, like, at least me, just talking. This is so funny, bro. <laughs> I mean, I was really just watching it for entertainment and, and just to have a good laugh. But fuck. And asking you what's going on and immediately said we're gaslighters. That's an abuse accusation. She's literally calling everybody in here abusers off the rip with almost no information just because... Well, sure. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to point out the difference is that like Max is intentionally driving you to only having conversations with one type of people, and then he's fucking crying like a little baby bitch on stream, trying to pull you out of another community that isn't like. I've never done anything even remotely close to that in my entire fucking life, or threatening to stop talking to you or stop associating with you. If you don't go into some other person's community. It's fucking insane. I can't believe you're trying to equate Black us there. Did you blacklist anyone who streamed with Max or me for like a month? For, 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 first of all, that lasted for one week, and secondly, that's because you motherfuckers are messaging women that I haven't talked to for seven fucking years. What do you mean, Saying you guys? Steven, be, stop! Yes, Steven, stop! All part of the same fucking team, dude. Yeah, she's done nothing. That's definitely not true. She is one of the biggest antagonists of this whole situation. What the fuck you are guys you are... talking about? I've literally done... This chick honestly is insane guys she's fucking insane honestly <laughs> i mean i don't know what else to say besides that holy shit fucking nothing steven stop were you not I doing a fucking nothing were you not doing a you literally should okay how about you send all of your logs before to me then hey okay, but you know destiny said she had mid pussy though hey that was that was pretty fucking uh, Alpha, what's the new term that people use? Uh, sigma. That was pretty sigma, bruh. Pretty sigma, dude. On a neutral side here. Uh, if you sent all of our logs. He actually used another word too, but I don't want to use it on my channel. So. Damn, which, by the way, included a ton of personal information that I see you don't give a fuck about. But since you sent all of my stuff in, why don't you send all of your conversation to me? You said you'd do it earlier, right? Didn't you say that earlier? You'd send the logs? Or was that just posturing and nobody here bothered to ask? If you. I. Yeah, yeah, so I that was bullshit. You I've said it because I have yeah. nothing to hide. No, I have yeah. literally yeah. nothing Anyways. to hide. All right, guys, if you guys want to check that out, you can. Anyways, this whole thing is crazy. It's hilarious. Fucking awesome in entertainment. Shows perfectly the state of modern women. Um, shows their their sexual dynamics. It shows interpersonal dynamics. Um, I, it, it's a perfect example of all of it. Honestly, it had Max done an article like that, it would have been fucking the shit. It would have been great. It would have been what? So, you know, but of course he didn't. He took the lame route. Um, so anyways, uh, anyways, guys, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, uh, help a player out, fellow king out. And uh, I will definitely see you guys next time. And last but not least, DBAP, don't be a pussy, Willow, and facts or feelings because your feelings just don't matter. See you kings next time. Peace.